So ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be telling you in detail what it is that I actually do as a professional software engineer working for a big company. I will tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'll tell you what I've learned on the job, what has surprised me, what I've liked, what I've disliked about it, and most importantly, what I actually do on a day-to-day -day basis in as much detail as possible. The video that took this channel off is this one where I describe my journey of learning to code. At the time, I was convinced that this was finally my dream career after trying like four different jobs before. And if you watch till the end, I might indeed have some thoughts about that. The purpose of this channel is to spread to the world, my passion for coding, because ladies and gentlemen, in this day and age, coding is one of the most valuable and monetizable skills that you can learn. But if you choose to monetize your coding skills by working for a large company, there are certain things that you absolutely need to understand before you go down this path. So if you are considering becoming a professional software engineer, you may want to listen to this video very, very carefully. By the way, if you haven't already seen it, I already made another day in the life as a software engineer video. So I leave that video down below for you to watch next. Okay, so let's talk about what I actually do as a software engineer. So I currently work for a consulting company as a junior developer. This is slightly different to what you might think from companies like Google or Facebook that are product companies where essentially the product they're working on is their own product like Google search or YouTube or the Facebook platform. Whereas what we do at our company is essentially build software software for clients. The project I'm currently based on is a Java based suite of microservices. Okay, so what does this actually mean in terms of my day to day then? Well, my days as a software engineer look broadly like this. I will wake up around 6 or 7 a.m. or whenever I want to wake up. For the first hours of my morning, I like to focus on my other stuff. So for example, this YouTube video, I'll be planning videos. Then around 9.15 a.m. is when my workday actually starts. And that's when we have what we call our stand-up meeting. The purpose of this meeting is essentially our entire team will gather where each of us update the team on what we're currently working on. If there are any blockers, how much I actually do during the day depends on how busy the project is at the moment. We work in these sprints where every day I'm essentially I'm picking up one ticket from the ticket backlog, so like one task, and I will work on it until it's finished and then I will send it to my peers to be reviewed and if they approve it, it gets merged into a main code base and at this point I've already picked up another ticket that I am now working on and essentially that is how my days look like. So that is what I do. Now, what do I actually think about it. And the way I will approach my thoughts to this job is in terms of this perfect career framework that I sort of came up for myself. Number one, we have money. Number two, we have freedom. Number three, challenge. And number four, stability. So now I want to go over all four of these in detail and tell you whether this actually ended up meeting my expectations. So certainly software engineering and more broadly, any IT slash tech related career is one of the best career choices that you can make if you're maximizing for money. And the fundamental reason for this is that if you want to make money in this world, you need to be offering value to the world. And how do you offer value to the world is by having high value skills in this technology driven world. And despite what everyone's saying about uh -oh, recession, blah, 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 blah. Coding is one of the, if not the most high value skills in the world because everything runs on technology. Most things that you use on a daily basis is software based in some way. And that's why the people who actually know how to build these things are extremely well compensated, whether it means building software for bigger companies like Google's or Facebook's or building your own, which obviously the, the even better way to make money. I have more thoughts coming up on that when I go into my conclusion. Next is freedom. And what do I mean about freedom? Specifically, I mean location freedom in the sense that you can work from wherever you want, like you don't have to be sitting in an office. Number two is time freedom. So you can essentially choose whenever you work. So the ideal career, the ideal job for me, where I can work from anywhere in the world at any time that I want, as long as the job gets done. And in terms of working a software engineering job out of any job in the world, this is probably the job that gives you the most freedom and the most flexibility. I have the 
freedom to work from home any day that I want and I have the freedom to do my work at almost any hour that I want as long as the work gets done. Obviously that depends on the specific company that you work for. My company is really great in the sense that they do give you that freedom but what I cannot do is go work from I don't know Malaysia or Switzerland or so, some other country. I still require to be in the UK which is the country where my company is and I don't have total time freedom because we do have the daily standard meetings and all that but the real way to achieve true freedom is to work for yourself and you have your own business maybe you're freelancing so if you want to achieve total freedom you may want to think about in the long term maybe freelancing or building your own software company which obviously is very very difficult and again more thoughts coming on that in a moment so third is challenge the reason why i really got into coding well one of the reasons is that out of anything I've done, coding is very like intellectually stimulating and I can just get lost in building something. But it didn't quite meet my expectations in the sense that when you're working for a big company and when you're a junior, the type of work you're doing is not necessarily very challenging. It's like very small things because obviously when you're at the bottom, you get given all the things that no one else wants to do, right? Yeah, so basically we just like you to change the display variable on all I could fix. Okay. So basically I'm just changing like one line. How many of these repos are there again? There's, let me just check, there's 2,716 repos. Wait, wait, what? So you're doing like very menial things like changing configuration files. So actually for me, still building my own projects and doing my own things with coding is way more exciting than actually doing it working for a company. That is something that you should absolutely consider and that's something that you should absolutely realize when you get into this job. The excitement that you might have had for coding probably isn't gonna be as high when you are doing it for this large organization, some very small part of this, some very big thing that you're building. And I'm not saying that it should be any other way, but that's just something that you should absolutely be aware of. So and then in terms of stability, and if we get back to the fact that coding in this day and age is probably the most in-demand skill that there is, once you have a couple of years of experience and you can demonstrate that you know what you're doing when it comes to programming and software engineering, you are in very, very high demand. Now, maybe at this very current moment, it's like slightly smaller than it would have been in the past but in general the stability that you can have is incredible like and this is the only part where working a job as a software engineer actually beats being an entrepreneur and like maybe working for yourself as a programmer because obviously working for yourself trying to build a company is extremely difficult you're probably going to fail for a very long time but when you're working for a job if you can just get your foot in the door if you can just get your first job which i know is the most difficult part and that is why on this channel i try to help you do that in as many ways as i possibly can so the most critical critical part is getting your foot in the door. If you can do that, if you can do that, if you can stay in the job for a couple of years, have some experience, you're gonna have incredible stability unless your company happens to be bought by Elon Musk. <laughs> So with that, we are almost ready to move into my conclusions and why, despite all of these very positive features of this job, my long-term plans for my coding career are a bit different than you might think. But before I explain that in more detail, if you are watching this and you are someone who would like to become a software engineer, to learn to code and build a career in this amazing field, I do want to give you some tips on how to do that. Firstly, to succeed in this field, you need to be the type of person who enjoys learning. No matter which kind of programming career you pursue, be it freelancing, working for a company or entrepreneurship, you need to be relentlessly willing to upskill yourself if you want to get to the top. And after you upskill yourself, it is absolutely critical that you manage to find a way to showcase your skills as a programmer to companies, potential clients, etc. But today, there is a website called Showcase, which combines all the different aspects of showcasing your skills as a developer into one platform. They are the sponsor of this video, but I generally believe that the platform that they've built can be the future of how we as developers can put our skills and our ability out there to be noticed. What you can do in Showcase is simply fill out your profile, which is essentially a combination of like LinkedIn, GitHub, Medium, Twitter, and much more in one place. Then Showcase will give you a custom domain that will build you your own Showcase page that you can then link when applying for jobs. And on top of that, by clicking on generate resume on your profile, you can also auto generate a CV for yourself that's automatically optimized in its layout to pass the auto screening software that companies use to auto reject 
direct candidates. On Showcase, you can also do much more like actually apply for jobs directly by the website, build connections with people that you worked in the past and showcase your knowledge as well by joining and contributing to various programming communities. There's no point in being a great coder if no one who would be willing to pay you for those skills even knows about it. I leave a link to showcase down below for you to check out. Now let's talk about what I actually think about my job and what my plans are for my future coding career going forward. I fully believe that as far as jobs go, this is the best job in the world because this job is the best combination of freedom, money, challenge and stability compared to almost every other career out there as far as I'm aware. And the fundamental reason for this is again, that coding is simply an extremely high value skill. But despite this, if you think even bigger, the ultimate way to monetize coding is obviously through entrepreneurship by building your own tech company, which is extremely, extremely difficult and definitely not for most people. But because I see myself as being like very entrepreneurially minded, I know that eventually this is something like this is the path that I will eventually want to go down. So then why have I decided to work as a software engineer anyway, if I know that eventually I will end up moving on to doing my own thing? Well, it's because in the beginning of your career, the thing that you should be optimizing for is learning as much as possible, as quickly as possible. And once you get past the basic stage or even the intermediate stage, the best way and really the only way to keep progressing and to keep learning more is to actually do the job with other people and to work professionally. So that is why for as long as I am still learning skills every day, I will keep working as a software engineer so I can build the skills to then apply them to hopefully build something of my own. By the way, we're not talking about like building the next Facebook or anything like that. There's this whole community of like indie hackers. Literally, you can go to the website, I'll put it down below. There's people who build these like small software as a service products where they sell so like simple software, maybe for like people who are building Shopify stores or something like that, or some software that small companies can use. As long as it solves a business problem that is actually useful for some businesses, they are probably willing to pay for it. And because all you need to do is build it once and then just maintain it, the margins again can be extremely, extremely high. And there's people making like a hundred thousand dollars a month just from these projects that they built. But again, doing something like this successfully is like ridiculously hard. So probably as soon as possible, I'm just gonna start trying like all sorts of different things. And if I try for like five years, surely one of them is eventually gonna succeed, right? But even if this is your goal, then I would say that getting a job as a software engineer first, at least for some time, is extremely, extremely useful because it allows you to actually build an understanding of not only how coding applies to like small personal projects, but actually how it is used in very large applications, how to work with a team, how agile working works. The most exciting thing is that whether I end up failing with my lofty goals of becoming the next tech entrepreneur or not, I will keep documenting my entire journey with code on this channel, like I have been doing so far ever, pretty much ever since I started learning. And ladies and gentlemen, the only way for you to find out where this all ends up is by subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. If you are still in the beginning of your journey and you want to learn to code, I actually made the perfect thing for you. I made this free Skillshare class, which I'm gonna link down below in the description, which literally has step-by-step -step in way more detail than I can ever go to in these YouTube videos, exact steps that I would take to go from completely zero to learning to code. I include a section firstly about the mindset of the learning principles that you need to be applying throughout your learning to code journey. Then we go into what kinds of projects to build, what language you should learn, and then how to pass interviews and how to do a job essentially a full step-by-step -step plan from the beginning and even if you already started especially the first section where i talk about how to learn that's something that most people don't even consider at all i think it's going to be highly valuable to you so i'm going to leave it down below in the description you're going to watch it for completely free by getting a free trial of skillshare which you're going to again do by just going to the link down below in the description if you'd instead like to see a full day in my life as a software engineer in london i recommend you watch this video right now with that I will see you in the next video.